A lot of the power optimization is done at the kernel level. In this graph, the lighter colors indicate a newer kernel. At the top, we can see the latest kernel with the screen off draws the least amount of power. The bright red in the center shows how efficient the Librem 5 is with the screen on. The darker bottom shows where we came from. Reducing the current draw like this directly impacts heat. It also helps preserve battery life. A new lock screen has found its way onto the Librem 5. The unlock button is centered, and there's also a back button. The top dropdown has also seen some added features. You now have quick access to the power settings. Switching between portrait and landscape is now a button, instead of the switch like it was before. This will mute notifications, while this controls the master output volume. Quick access to screen brightness works like before. You can go directly to settings, power off the phone, or return to the lock screen. An initial terminal layout has been added to the keyboard. For now, it switches the period with a button to switch over to common terminal keys. This makes editing commands or escaping VI possible. It also helps run some desktop apps, like Firefox. You can hit F11 to enter full screen. We have a blog post explaining how to run Firefox on a Librem 5, but after applying a few tweaks, the browser works even better. Changing the user agent to a mobile one will take advantage of any optimizations the site creators built. This makes Firefox much more usable in Portrait. For some sites, it even loads a slimmer version of the page. Changing a setting in About Config will allow Pinch to Zoom to be smoother. Even with a few tabs open, things are still running well. We are only using about half the available RAM and CPU cycles. In another blog post, we explain how to take advantage of screen scaling. It can really help you get the most out of unadapted apps. The Leaper 5 has a default scale of 2. Text is just the right size, and buttons are easy to hit. At a 1.75 scale, things are still very usable. Text is not too small, but you can see the extra space is already helping some applications. This is what 1.5 looks like, giving us a bit more space in exchange for text size getting smaller. At max DPI, things look a lot like a desktop. The keyboard ends up too small at this scaling, but work is already underway to fix this bug. Here are some early tests being done by Dorota from our team. Order your Librem 5 at puri.sm to help change the world.